Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your July 2022 predictions. If you want to watch your star or your sun, moon, and rising signs, they will be linked down below in the description. So today we're going to use the Lenormand cards to get overall theme of July, then the tarot, and then the astro dice and some oracle decks. And there's going to be um, something different than the previous months. We're going to do a quick blessings and then a surprise at the end. So stay tuned. But let's not waste any time. What is going on in July for Gemini Spirit? Thank you for your clear and accurate messages. Oh, I just tried to paint over my nails. I don't know why I keep doing that. <laughs> you guys don't care, right? All right, Spirit, what is going on in July for, for Gemini? What is the theme? What does Gemini have to look forward to in July? Oh. What is going on in July for Gemini? Ooh, noon. There could be some emotional and working satisfaction. Let's go. Oh. Oh, we have four cards that came out for you. I'm going to move these. These cards are a little bit shiny. Put them. Well, I'll leave them right here for now, and then I'll move them when we do the tarot. So it looks like the theme may be overcoming some obstacles and gaining some wisdom and getting becoming more satisfied with work, and you may be get making more money. Yeah. That's, it's literally like, looks like you guys are going to be exceed, like succeeding in your career. If that is what you're after, you're after um, money, you're going to be finding out some knowledge, some wisdom that you did not know before. And that is going to help bring forth some money or at least figure out the obstacles, cut forth any, like cut out anything that's no longer serving you. You're going to find out what has been holding you back and I think this is going to be a really overall like good month for you guys, Gemini. <laughs> it's going to be a good cycle. It looks like you guys may be spending time um, by water potentially too, like going to the lake. I just see that. Um, but look, overall, it looks like you're going to be emotionally satisfied. The first card that came out, also career satisfaction. Um, maybe you're working a lot, studying a lot. But whatever you're doing, this energy you're putting forth is going to bring forth more money. And also cut through any obstacles you've been facing. So let's get the tarot out to get more information for you guys. I feel like these two cards came out for a reason. Like cutting out the obstacles. Whatever's been holding you back. You're going to find that out. So Spirit, what is going on in July for our Geminis? What is going on in July for Gemini? CP1, Gemini, going into July, CP2, going down, CP3, no topics, but no background information on the relevant information. And what's going on in July? CP4 will be recent past, or June, CP5, CP6, telling you what happens in the first two weeks. CP7, February's fears, CP8, other people involved, other energies outside influences, CP10, Cyrus, CP10. Thank you, Spirit, for your clear and accurate messages. What is going on in July for Gemini? What is going on in July for Gemini? What is going on in July for Gemini? What's going on in July for Gemini? See what card this is. In the bottom deck we have devil. That's interesting. For the last for Taurus we had devil but reverse. Okay. Make sure we can see all this one moment. So I think one thing that may be holding you guys back or was in the past 
was maybe some heartbreak or depression or some like loss of passion for what you do. Um, this could be caused by a person or something that happened in the past. Maybe you felt like you were like not given credit for something you did. Um, someone hurt your heart. Someone bro- like said mean words or something seemed to have happened that was holding you back and took away your passion and your confidence. But it looks like you are overcoming that. You're releasing this emotional pain that's been holding you back. And I see that that's probably these obstacles we were talking about earlier. This loss of passion, this this pain, this heartbreak, in whatever sense it is to you, that really like kept you caged in. Um, you know, maybe you wear your heart in your sleeve and someone took advantage of you or made you feel bad or said some words, something happened that that took away your confidence and passion and that is being cut out. If you're now going to see yourself as someone more confident, capable, more financially stable, which we already were talking about earlier, like this is like pure abundance. Um, so you're going from this like, you know, lack mindset, feeling really down and out to feeling abundant and just like happy and comfortable with who you are and what you do. Um, And it looks like you may not notice that you have so many options available to you going into this month. You may think, you know, like I might be in this mindset still in the beginning that you don't know how to get out of this situation. You just only see the obstacles you don't see like the way out, but this month you're figuring out a way out of this situation, a way out of this negativity that's been going on. And with the strength card reversed right next to the devil, there's something that's been like some some holding you back. Like maybe like something happened also with this four of swords reversed, like some loss of character, like reputation. Maybe you feel like something happened that, that made you feel really down and out. You may also be like escaping issues. Maybe since you had all this like upset energy, maybe you've been, you know, just kind of fell off the, I almost said bandwagon, fell off the way. What's the term? I don't know. But maybe you're doing things like, you know, that you shouldn't have codependencies, anything, uh, just to like help your, make yourself feel better. Um, with the moon to, it could also indicate like, you know, things you do at nighttime. So maybe there were some habits that were bad that were formed just to kind of um, block out these negative feelings that you were feeling before. Because uh, it looks like you were in a lot of pain and you probably were just trying to escape that. And that might be also one of the reasons why you don't see a clear way out of the situation. Um, but in the month of July, you are going to figure out a way out. And one way will be to kind of find the inner strength in yourself and the confidence in yourself again and not let other people take your power from you or other things. And your fear, we have the four of cups. So I think, yeah, we have a lot, are there a lot of fours here? Let's see. I thought I saw, yeah, there's, there's three fours, right? Yeah. So it looks like this month, I think you're going to really figure out how to build up your foundations um, and that's probably going to be the knowledge and that money. You're going to figure things out. You're going to figure a way out of this energy. You're going to come out of your shell, but at the same time, I think you're like afraid to come out of your shell and like let yourself be hurt again, like, or be vulnerable. There's some, something here, like you, you're really holding on to your possessions. You're holding on to your heart. You're holding on to everything because you've been so hurt in the past, but, but you're, going to have to do some inner work and stuff like that this month and I see that you are to let yourself be open again to love and good situations because you know I think you guys have really great ideas you've you're really smart you're really creative and you're going to start expressing that this month that's what you want to do maybe you don't really realize how you're going to express it but you're going to figure that out. Maybe some of you guys like to write or maybe like reading something will inspire you. Um, maybe tarot, like the book can sometimes represent that. Uh, 
but the moon also is like creative wisdom and we have here what you really want so i think you guys are going to have some great ideas but something's been holding you back and not thinking clearly and in the month of july you're you're moving past that and it's going to be hard. You have to let yourself be vulnerable and share these ideas you have. Maybe in the past you've shared ideas and whoever was in your life at the time, like, or is, like, just put you down. And you just don't, you know, don't share your ideas with people like that. Like, you have wonderful gifts to share with the world. And they will actually not only, like, help and benefit other people, it will help you financially. So you're being called to follow your dreams, get out of this shell, this these walls you built up around you and share your gifts and that will bring forth like so much satisfaction in your life and money to and, and just make you get out of this potential um rut or like negative state like your environment is getting over this state this month so that is great um and then for the, the outcome of the month we have five of wands reverse which is like conflict resolution so if you've been like having issues with other people that is coming to a close maybe you're cutting these people off because they were you know were hurting you or not allowing you to express yourself maybe they were like codependent or you were codependent or something like that something was holding you back and that's going to be resolved so you just have to in the beginning of this month you need to find that inner strength and that confidence and express your true authentic self which is easier said than done and once you start doing that you're going to go in this new cycle of life that is just so wonderful. So I'm going to take a sip of water and then let's roll the astrodice. I feel like really thirsty all of a sudden. Maybe some of you guys, um, I feel like I see a lot of water energy here too. You might be a little dehydrated. That might help you feel a little bit better. We have Uranus. 10th house and Taurus. Yes, the 10th house is all about reputation, career, um, public reputation and career reputation and recognition, which we already touched on. Um, so there's going to be more stability and security and financial security, with, but it's coming after a change. Uranus is like great change, like liberator. So once yeah, this is just affirming everything thank you Spirit. so once you guys make these changes um starting with your mindset and habits and cutting out people that are like i just feel like there's some re you know something that's being resolved with other people here and letting your boundaries down um you're going to if and if you feel like you've had this ne like bad reputation in the past or something like that i think it's mostly um internal you're feeling that and you're going to realize that you are stronger than you think you are more capable than you think and that there's so much like success and like you're going to be recognized for your gifts once these changes start taking place and this i mean we're only talking about one month here but you're starting this process this month which is awesome so spirit what astrological influences with zodiac signs and their messages you have for gemini mars so this can represent Aries, but also like action, which I could see that makes sense. You're like taking action um, after a period of feeling like low energy, going after what you want and not caring what, oh, what other people think. And then we have Capricorn. So I can see that like making more structure in your life. And also with Mars too, I feel like it's just like just putting the work and going after it, not letting other people stop you, do, you doing you and not caring about what other people think. And then we have Aries on the bottom. So there could be an Aries in your life, but I feel like this is like initiation, new beginnings, energy, like drive, ambition. And then like with Capricorns, like not just initiating things, but like sticking with it and going for like, you know, because Aries is a lot of like fiery energy. They're really good at starting things like Mars too, but Capricorn's like long lasting and stuff. We also have that with like Taurus, but Capricorn, like they, they'll see it through. So this combination, like whatever these ideas are, you know, you're going to get like fueled from that, like passion after a period of not having that. And then you're going to stick to it. And that's going to bring forth these amazing changes if you do so. So now let's get some Kipper cards. What else for the month of July for Cap, not Capricorn, sorry, for Gemini. Three came out. Oh my god, occupation. <laughs> so I really do think this is related to work for a lot of you guys. And we have mature woman and despair. 
Yep. Put these all down here. So, I feel like you guys are in this energy now and hate and maybe really dislike your current occupation. And maybe there's someone involved that has been causing this pain and stuff that is a older person or this could be related to a boss, a mother, an immature woman. Um, also this could be saying that like changing your career, working harder at what you believe in will make you a more mature person and come out of this despair state. Like spirit definitely wants you to come out of this, but you are. But these changes have to take place and I feel like I don't when I look at this card, I don't always think of it this way, but I feel like that there maybe this despair and this conflict that you're overcoming or like with, there's someone else or multiple people uh, indicated here. It could be with a maternal figure, figure, especially with the moon card that can represent women and mothers. Uh, it doesn't have to be for all of you, but maybe that could be part of the issues and why you have some like boundary issues or heartache or like difficulty letting people in or sharing your ideas is because someone put you down for your ideas of or what you do for work or something like that if that makes sense um but you know you're being called to not let other people's opinions like anyone even if they're failing whatever like you do you and just don't you know maybe in the beginning you don't have to share everything with them go after your dreams it's like you're look at this. it's all going to bring forth like this abundance so now let's see what blessings are coming for you and we'll talk about the surprise. Spirit, what blessings are coming next for Gemini? What blessings are coming for Gemini? Strength. Oh, yay. It just like fell by. Yeah, you guys are finding the strength. Like you don't feel it in the beginning of this month, but you're finding it. You're going to get the courage to like spread your wings and fly and go after the life you want and not let other people drag you down. You're going to have the strength to have this action that's like long, like fiery action that's like enduring that will, you'll be able to, you know, and I think you're going to realize that you're worried about what other people think, like this person here, but it's going to be okay. And if it's not okay, you're going to be okay. You're going to be fine. You are much stronger than you think. And then we have the Empress. Oh my god, this is also indicating this could be like some motherly energy. But we have two major arcana, so yeah, you're going to be fine. Like you're wise, you're smart, you're supported, you're powerful and like nurturing. But also if you're worried, if this is resonating, worried about like a maternal figure being like upset about something, it's going to be okay you're going to be supported we have multiple strains and then we have some threes fours. well yeah, and the fours can represent family too so maybe there was despair with family in the past there's a lot of mother energy now and then we have the page of pentacles which talks about news of like a new job um uh some money coming in so this makes sense i feel like whatever your creative project like look they're playing like a what is that why can't I think of the freaking name of the heart? Well, I don't know. But they're playing an instrument and they're like, you know, they're bird flying. They're, they're doing, creating something. They're expressing themselves and it's bringing forth, you know, a new adventure and new, that is prosperous. So this is great news. Maybe you guys will be starting to study something new because you're realizing your passions too. But this indicates like some money coming in. And we already talked about that multiple times. We have a lot of repetition here, which I love because it's spirit coming through. And yeah, the bomb, you guys are overcoming this anxiety that this, these, look at this, even looks like you like chain yourself in or like these walls I was talking about. That's on the bottom. So it's like the shadow side. You're overcoming that. You're getting strength. I love that we have that for you. Um, you're overcoming this. You're becoming the empress, emperor of your life. So now that's the reading, but I want to tell you guys about the little, uh, surprise, well, not a little, we have a giveaway. So um, the deck we used for the blessings, I am giving away to one of you because I have two of them. 
So I wanted to bring this up at the end of the reading because I want it to be for people who, you know, um, are getting value out of my videos and are subscribers. So you will win, uh, well, one person will win this Fairy Tarot deck. And then I love this so much. I have two of these cloths. One is in the background and one I wear like as a headscarf. So this will be for one of you as well as this herb blend for Fairy Attraction Blessed Herbs. So this will be running through the end of July. I'm going to leave a link in the description to another post. Um, since there are 12 zodiac signs, I can't, it'll be hard to pick a winner if you guys all commented on your own videos, you know. So I'm going to leave something linked down below. Make sure you're subscribed and like this video, um, especially if you did. I hope you found value out of it. And then follow that link and comment what uh, sign video you came from. And yeah, I hope you guys found this helpful. Thank you. Um, I want to give back for all your support. And I also do monthly giveaways for free readings already. So uh, yeah, I love you. I hope this is helpful. Have a great month of July, Gemini. Bye.